Hey, it didn't come to me before, but it occurs to me now, listening, re-listening to this recording, that um, we think of perhaps the base chakra representing the body. You see, the body is in some sense the dumping ground of waste. And the base chakra is very close to that, of course, you know, the anus, so to speak. And if you can hold with me for this <laughs> rather laboratorial discourse for a moment, um, without being able to dispose of waste, life is choked to death. You know, if the bin men do not come and you don't get rid of the waste, in the end your life will be choked by rotting refuge and chaos and you'll have to move on. You know, it's death not to have a good waste disposal system. Uh, the most important man in civilization is the bin man. Let's get our priorities and understanding right. You have held such occupations in slight contempt perhaps, or some people have anyway. And uh, my goodness, it's not so. And it's this reverse thing that you see to India, isn't it? That the lowest caste that actually does the most menial, as it is held by society, are actually doing the most important duty of all. For if you don't dispose of refuge and the dead bodies and so forth, well, your society quickly comes to an end. And the body is like that to the total person. That if the body isn't functioning extremely well, there's no point in the rest of the edifice, the society that's built on it, the structure. It's on poor foundation. And, and if I may absolutely risk my neck here for a moment, let me suggest that our God is of perfect integrity and always removes all waste, all evil, all true evil, all true waste. Anything that no longer serves its purpose is removed quickly, taken out of the whole thought process of creation. Um, that there be life and fullness of life and order, um, absolute order. You know the integrity of God is, is just mind-blowing to us of such uh, junior comprehension. So from this aura of cleanliness and purity, that God gives. On this foundation he builds creation and his family. Um, you know that incredibly secular cleanliness is next to godliness. It has a ring of truth in it that is um, quite fascinating. Well, thank you, Heavenly Father, for that um, run of thought. I hope it wasn't, uh, I hope it was acceptable to you, Lord. And I'm sure it was. I wouldn't be thinking it but for your goodness and care and vigilance. You never stop working. Love you, Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. So, I'm thinking that the body works out the waste, the chaos, from the um, uh, bodies above it, the astral, the causal, the spiritual, the um, imperfections there are played out on the body by its life and activity, its karma, if you like, in terms of those religions that think that way. 
the consequences of sin, if you're talking of the sort of Judaic approach to things. It's worked out in this world of experiences and sorrows and learning and, you know, the prodigal going off to um, sort himself out. And then feeds back by its experience to put the other houses in order, the astral, the causal and the um, spiritual beyond it. You know, it's back to my thing, it's the great learning ground, the school, the body, where things are played out. The dream world where nightmares and that are a reality and you learn to fear this and value that and discard this and change your values and your understanding and uh, your emotions are tempered or, or um, guided by your previous experience and your emotions adjust accordingly. Um, you know, things that you did fear, you no longer fear because your experience in the, in the material has taught you that uh, the fear is not warranted in some way. And so, if you like, your astral being uh, is able to um, advance, uh, become more harmonious, uh, be more complete. So the material universe is incredibly functional in that way. Um, it brings into being the children of God. It's the womb of life eternal. Um, God makes it perfect first. In Steiner's view, I think, um, correct me if you feel I'm wrong, but um, his view is that um, the physical body functions sort of perfectly in its complete way. It's incredibly efficient and uh, staggeringly, I mean, awesomely made. We are wonderfully and fearfully made, the Christian Bible says. And how how much we feel that when we look closely at the body, how it works, and all that it is. So, God has some priority of um, giving us competent tools. The body is a staggering one. That we may be born into life eternal you know, the epitome of what the crown chakra is to be. The fulfillment of us being born of God, his workmanship, his hand, his creation. We are the crown in total of his creation as, as we see it, as we understand it, children of God, to become like him, part of his wonderful heavenly host family, in a magnificent, lovely and wonderful harmony. He's achieving this through use of the material to Wow, to purify the other shells of our being, astral, causal, spiritual, that we may, that we be complete like he is complete. Another lovely flower. Not the same as him, not a clone. 
not the same as each other. Incredible variety, each contributing something lovely, each unique, in harmony. So I think Steiner has the view definitely that at this stage of the evolution of I think Steiner sees the whole process as a one-off evolution, not a continuous process that's going on. Um, I suspect it's more endlessly continuous. That God has no limit to the size of his family. It's not a one-off thing and then he thinks, well, that, that's all very nice, isn't it? Been there, done that. It's not quite the um, Kiwi casual approach to living, you know. <laughs> mm, I think it is continuous. It doesn't really matter what I think in that regard, of course. Well, it does, doesn't it? Again, that's part of one of our shells of being. That we are understanding be purified too and uh, be brought into the astonishing sophistication and harmony and completeness. So it does matter, it's just that I'm not quite there yet, perhaps. <laughs> How's that for humility? Marshall's actually said something that might be humble. <laughs> I'm not too humble, am I? Mm. But in a way I am, and I know it. Well, doesn't matter. Love you, God. Love you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father.